Hi. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi, there you guys are. How are you doing today? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. How about yeah, you? Great. I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, I'm excited to talk with you guys today and, and learn a little bit more about uh, Salesforce and what it looks like and, and how to use it and how we all are, are dealing with it today. Um, my name is Michelle. Sorry? We'll try our best to explain what Salesforce is. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, uh, my name is Michelle. I'm going to be sort of guiding through the conversation today. It's be pretty informal. Um, would you, uh, Ahmed, would you like to take a moment to introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ahmed Kaya. Uh, right now, I live in uh, Spain. Uh, almost four years uh, being here. And last one year, uh, I'm working as a Salesforce developer. But before that, almost 16 years, I was working as a, a teacher in different international schools in different countries. Uh, but then uh, I decided to change my career. Then I came across with the Salesforce. Then all of a sudden, after completing my course, I become a Salesforce developer. And here you are. I'm working as a developer right now. Excellent, excellent. Uh, actually, I'm from IT background, so but uh, I studied computer network uh, administrator, uh, and I've been in the United States for 25 years. Uh, what I do uh, right now is uh, I'm, I'm one of the instructors in Wise Quarter, and uh, I teach uh, Salesforce administrator, uh, and uh, we just finished one of our you know um, batches, and we're going. We're excited to start a new batch, and. Uh, hopefully, we'll actually uh, teach. Uh, we'll we'll get everybody uh, on board with uh, Salesforce, and uh, they can become Salesforce developer. Because uh, I actually started as a uh, in inside the Salesforce uh, uh, market uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, I was working for a company that actually was looking for a CRM solution to fix their problems, and uh, I came up with uh, Salesforce after my deep research and. Uh, I actually uh, taught myself how to use Salesforce a couple of years ago, but then I had to. I, I figured that I, I have to join a bootcamp. I can't do this uh, <laughs> just uh, from YouTube videos. So I joined the bootcamp. I got my certificate, and uh, you know, working as a wise, you know, instructor in Wise Quarter actually uh, now is very fun, and I can tell you that it's a, it's a great uh, place uh, uh, to to learn uh, Salesforce. So. Uh, maybe if you have any other questions about Salesforce, we can answer them right now. But for now, this is me. This is my introduction. Awesome. That sounds fantastic. Um, yeah. Yeah, being a teacher, I find you were a teacher before. <laughs> that's uh, quite a change, right, from teaching yeah. uh, students in different classrooms to going into uh, mm -hmm. Salesforce or IT. Um, a little bit about myself. I've been in... Yeah. Uh, technology or telecommunications for, uh, yeah. for a lot, almost yeah, two decades it's, now. So it's, it's very strange. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're right. Uh, honestly, uh, during a teaching only, I was using computer, but mm -hmm. I didn't have any idea about any single writing, any single line of coding. Uh, it is uh, really a different, uh, we can say the world, one is IT, one is education. But once you come to know what is uh, IT, especially uh, the Salesforce, you will think, oh, it's almost the same thing. Like you will be just uh, speaking and then writing something. Uh, you don't need to be a kind of uh, a person, a kind of technician or engineer or something. Uh, uh, really, from outside, it looks very different. But when you go in, you will feel very uh, ease then uh, you, will, you will see, yeah, everyone can do this work. So why did you switch from teaching into IT? What made you uh, decide to switch over? Yeah, there were some uh, outsider problems uh, or reasons, but uh, main thing, the, the IT right now, when you see the world is uh, really uh, going uh, into IT, the technology, mm -hmm. information. And our life is uh, day by day merging more with the technology and then uh, with the, mm -hmm. uh, and it, from one side, 
the human being is planning to uh, land on the Mars. Uh, <laughs> daily, our life is uh, becoming more interact with the technology. Then, in the IT world, uh, definitely the opportunities are widening and widening. Uh, the job opportunities, uh, definitely, uh, uncomparably, the income of IT work is also higher than the teaching. Uh, we can True. say, yeah, that is really yeah. a big difference. So one, uh, we can say, uh, read the opportunities of finding new job and having good salary, a good income. And uh, these are the basic things that it uh, guided me to come into the uh, IT. Yeah, I don't know if I'm Mr. Birol, so uh, what he says. Yeah. <laughs> well, talking about good income, actually, if you look, uh, you'll see that uh, the income actually is, uh, I can't speak uh, on behalf of the United States, maybe, because the United <laughs> States actually is very uh, blessed with uh, with this opportunity, uh, because uh, there's a ton of uh, opportunities uh, in Salesforce market. Uh, if you're a developer in the United States, um, salaries are really uh, nice. I mean, if, especially if you're not coming from IT background and Salesforce is a great way to get inside the IT uh, sector. Mm -hmm. so, uh, information technology has never been easier uh, to get inside because uh, you would need four or five years of um, uh, education uh, normally uh, to get inside uh, IT. But uh, with Salesforce, uh, you can become a developer very easily. Uh, because um, it's very, uh, I mean, if you start with uh, writing uh, programs without writing any code, basically, uh, yeah. when you become a Salesforce administrator, and then after that, uh, with uh, little by little, you start learning how to code. And uh, after that, after six months of a uh, course, you can become a developer, which is great, uh, which is actually uh, going to get you uh, over six figure incomes. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite impressive because normally there's a lot of certifications, a lot of years of, of work that go in to even get your foot in the door in into IT and technology, and so it's really great to have a, a boot camp style, you know, like six six or seven months to be able to commit just that short period of time to learn yeah. something and then be able to walk into a workforce is is quite miraculous. Now that that was not an option in the past. Yeah, I can say example in university I studied for five years. Uh, to get my career, and I worked 16 years, but in this last one year, uh, I started earning uh, more than how I was uh, earning in last 16 years. <laughs> the changes, yeah. Yeah, yes. and that's an exciting and sad yeah. <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Salesforce changed a lot of people's uh, life, yeah. uh, and it, very quickly too. Uh, like I said, I taught myself and then I actually joined the boot camp, and then uh, I was able to uh, learn very easily, even though, you know, I'm from IT background, I'm a little bit, um, you know, I cannot uh, speak on behalf of a lot of people. I know I understand that, but I've seen many people like stay at home moms. I saw, I saw uh, carpenters, I saw uh, teachers, you know, uh, getting inside yeah. this uh, sector very easily because, um, like I mentioned that you can, um, it's very easy to use software. And uh, can we talk about what Salesforce does and what Salesforce is actually? A lot of people don't know. Uh, yeah, Salesforce. absolutely. Salesforce is a CRM company and CRM uh, is a cloud CRM company. Uh, CRM stands for customer service, um, customer service resolution. Uh, so uh, uh, we, we keep customer information inside this software where you can access it anywhere. That's why uh, you call it cloud. Uh, so you can access uh, CRM anywhere in the world. And that's, that's going to uh, keep all your interactions with the customers. And uh, why is that good uh, for companies? Because uh, then they can find out if there is any problems in their sales process, or if there's any problems with their uh, service uh, departments. Or if there's a problem with marketing, like how they marketing marketing their how they're marketing their uh, products, uh, they can find out the problem and then uh, find a solution to that problem very easily because all your interactions are kept in uh, inside this CRM program. 
And um, when uh, Salesforce first started, it was back in 1999, and uh, the, you needed a software to install on your computer back then. Uh, mm -hmm. So cloud CRM was not something very common. Uh, it wasn't. It was unheard of uh, back then. So uh, when they uh, started this, uh, you know, revolution, uh, it, this actually movement, uh, they started with the no software. But then they had to change it because uh, the companies demanded customization. So they needed uh, to allow uh, people to customize it to their needs. So they had to. They, they allowed people to write codes uh, inside Salesforce, and uh, that's how we are able to manipulate uh, the front end, the back end a little bit, so we can uh, fit our uh, customers' needs, uh, whoever we work for after after six, seven months. So we, we are going to be able to uh, do that after only seven months, like I said. So I think what is good with the Salesforce, it is providing different opportunities for the different uh, marketing. For example, for the sales, for the uh, customer or marketing, it gives uh, alternate packages uh, for the business people. So then easily they can adapt their business with the Salesforce for the uh, uh, for, uh, for selling easy and uh, wider uh, environment. And it is uh, definitely a cloud and it is reducing the expense of the companies also maintaining their hardwares or the engineers each and everything continuously. It's a kind of uh, from security to maintenance, it is reducing the expense of the companies. So uh, most of the companies are trying to get rid of these responsibilities uh, for handling. And so when they look at the market, they can easily see number one is the sales force. Then they go for that. Yeah, absolutely. The customer relationship yeah. management from from entering their information as a cold contact of who to communicate with through the sales process. And like you mentioned, customized sales packages, like what services might fit that particular customer and being able to manage them from all angles of the business from one cloud service platform is, um, it's very uh, intuitive for each customer. It's very innovative for where everyone's moving forward. Whether you have a small company or a large bank or a big enterprise, um, that service is going to be very customizable and allow everybody to use it. So that's really beneficial to, to any organization. Um, and that creates opportunities, right, for people to start developing, administrating, and um, being on the analytics side for Salesforce. And at, even though it's been since 1999, right, as you mentioned, they've been around for a while. It's really just started taking off, I think, in the last few years as far as overall popularity, right, on who's um, just how many businesses they're servicing, how many people are becoming certified um, to do this. And there are companies that have had IT professionals forever, uh, you know, decades worth that aren't certified in Salesforce. So the opportunities are so plentiful right now for people that want to go put that six, seven month commitment in um, and then have an opportunity to go walk into a role or into an organization that maybe they don't have a background with, um, but they do have the Salesforce administration or developing experience and certifications. And next thing you know, you're on a whole new career path um, than wherever you've been before for a whole new industry. Um, and it was a very short commitment in time. So that's really, um, that's really eye-opening for me and others that may be in transitioning periods in their career or maybe just looking for other opportunities um, to know that Salesforce is available. Um, maybe if we have a moment to show sort of what it looks like inside or from which perspective, whether it be a development perspective or administration, Maybe we could share, um, I think Burrell had some information yeah. uh, that uh, he can share with us so we can look at it. I, I love to. And also um, going back to what you were saying, uh, you know, how much investment you want to make on yourself. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. you, this is actually about investing on yourself and uh, the IT sector is actually growing exponentially. Uh, you're going to be behind if you don't um, uh, take action right now. So uh, you want to invest in yourself so you can actually benefit uh, four or five years from now. Um, and you won't, uh, you won't look back and uh, say, uh, I wish I uh, you know, got my education in the IT sector because uh, uh, you, you don't want to say, I wish, you, know, you want to do it right now. So uh, let me show you how easy it is uh, to navigate around uh, Salesforce, how easy it is. 
uh, to um, do some do things uh, behind the scenes. So let me just show my screen real quick. Uh, let's start with the front. Uh, I can can someone let me see. Okay, now you can see my screen, right? Yeah, yeah, we can see. Yes. Okay. As you can see, this is the home screen of uh, Sales Cloud, and uh, Salesforce has many clouds. Um, three of the most popular ones are sales, service, and marketing. Uh, there are three parts of the sales process. There is the marketing uh, part where you're actually marketing the product, so you can lure people in. You can ask them, you know, make sure that they buy your product, and then after, during, and after uh, they buy their pro buy your products. That's a sales cloud that takes care of that part. And if if they're having issues, if there are any if there are any requests or suggestions uh, coming from the user, the end users, then there's a service cloud. So there is a, a reason why they have three different clouds. There's there's more clouds, but then these are the uh, most popular ones. So I'm looking at the sales cloud, the front end, the home page, which I customized. Uh, and this doesn't have to look like this uh, for you. Uh, I could actually uh, customize it however, however I want, depending on uh, the co company's requirements, of course. I have my graphs, different style of graphs. I can make this visible for any type of user, uh, or if the CEO of the, of the company wants to see another metric, I can show them that metric, uh, depending on what, what they're interested in. Uh, I'm looking at these. I can see my calendar in here. I can see my tasks and the key deal opportunities, all of that. Talking about opportunities, uh, since I'm in the sales cloud, uh, there is the opportunity uh, object where you can keep uh, track of all your opportunities. So these are some of the opportunities, which some of them are close lost, some of them are close one, and some of, some of them I'm in process. Like this one, we just started um, uh, dealing with this customer and I can, uh, keep record of my interaction with this customer by logging a call, uh, creating a new event and sending an email. All of my emails will be sent from Salesforce. So I can, uh, somebody else can come in and find out what happened with this uh, opportunity. Uh, why isn't this closing yet? You know, things like that. This is very important for company owners to see what happens, what happened and what's going to happen in the future because you can create an event also, like I said, and uh, we keep track of the accounts, leads, and we even have um, artificial intelligence built into Salesforce where you can forecast some of these deals and you can find out if some, uh, some deals are gonna close, if, if it's likely or not likely, you, can, uh, you don't have to spend so much time in certain opportunities because if the AI is saying that it's 10% or 20% likely that this is going to close, you can move on to another opportunity. So this is actually um, the sales cloud. Let me show you what the backend looks like real quick. Uh, and in order to go to the backend, all I have to do is this. I just have to go to setup. And this is what the backend looks like. It doesn't seem like a very scary, right? This is very easy to use. Uh, you have my administration um, uh, platform tools. Uh, I got my homepage here and I can do uh, a lot of the things that uh, I'm able to do um, with any, any of, like if you know how to use uh, Facebook, how to manage your Facebook page, uh, then you can learn how to use the uh, Salesforce backend. It's very easy. And let me show you how, how you can write a program without writing any codes. This is very cool because Salesforce has uh, something called Salesforce Cloud, uh, Salesforce Flow, and this is how it looks. I got my elements on the left, I got my elements on the canvas, and this is actually flowing like water. And after after some of these steps are, you know, you can interact with these steps. After uh, everything is completed, uh, you create a case. Without having to write any codes, I was able to uh, create this and. Uh, let me show you how that runs. Let me click on run. And it basically gives you a script for a call center. This is uh, made for a call center employee. Uh, so they don't even have to remember their name. You know, you can write in their name. Uh, so it says, hello, this is Birol. Can you please provide your first and last name? You enter the customer's information here. 
you hit next, and it walks you through these steps one by one. So this is actually uh, something, a program that you could write in a couple months, but with this, you could write, you could actually do this in a couple of days, uh, maybe in a day, uh, you, you, if you know exactly what you're doing. And, uh, but we teach you these uh, after six, seven months, uh, you'll be able to uh, very skillfully, you'll be able to do all of this. And uh, I hope that this was helpful. I don't know. Yeah, I think that it was great. Um, getting to actually see it in action and what it looks like whenever you're moving through the screens in the different areas of, within Salesforce. Um, this isn't something that most people get an inside view of uh, unless you're attending what I jokingly refer to as YouTube University, <laughs> where you're watching videos on trying to teach yourself something. Um, which it's hard to kind of follow um, maybe the, a specific learning curriculum or um, get the appropriate building blocks, right, for the knowledge from YouTube. Uh, I know we all try to learn a little bit of something. We've all taught ourselves something on there at one point or another. Um, but getting to see it in action, getting to walk through with a, a leader, an administrator, a professor, um, through each step, what it looks like building the appropriate foundation. Um, I really appreciate you for sharing that with us because um, I personally hadn't seen several uh, steps that you walked through and what it looked like as far as creating a customer interaction and a record for them. So that was that was really insightful for me. I appreciate that. No problem. Yeah, I think that is the most uh, attractive part of Salesforce uh, between uh, or among other uh, CRMs that is having less coding and having the target of no coding in the future. Uh, so it gives idea, okay, with the less coding, then I will be doing more things. Yes. And yeah, uh, absolutely. This is actually not saying that there is a, you know, you're going to be able to write codes uh, to do things a lot faster than this. I mean, this is a, a you know, a program that you can write uh, without codes, but uh, there will be uh, situations where you need to write a couple lines of codes which Definitely, yeah. a lot faster than uh, you know doing this, doing it this way. Oh, of course, uh, it depends on the company you work for. Sometimes they, they might want you to uh, do it this way. Then you'll be equipped to do either. So uh, you can do it with flow, uh, or you can do it with uh, writing codes. So yes, yeah, it's great to have that exposure and the beauty of uh, of Salesforce is its customability, right? To its customization for each company that you're working for organization. Um, so being able to utilize different uh, skills, different variations of your skills within the same platform is, is really exciting. Um, I obviously, uh, I have not gotten a Salesforce certification uh, myself. Are there certain maybe skills that you um, should have before you search out a Salesforce certification? Or is there any base knowledge that's good to have or can you, can anyone really, as long as they have the time or dedication, uh, jump in and, and learn this themselves? Yeah, regarding certification, uh, Salesforce uh, has different uh, type of types of certifications. For example, it has administrator cert certification, it has developer certification, or the, for the architect level as well. Different certifications are there. Uh, as you start learning Salesforce, uh, after two, three months, easily you will be able to, we can say eligible to take the admin, administrator certificates. And these certifications uh, as uh, Vice Quarter, we are uh, guiding. And Salesforce itself mm -hmm. also through Trailhead, it has a uh, guidance. Uh, anyone, anyone wishing to have this certificate, uh, without any education background, uh, they can uh, go through, then uh, they can have these certifications. Unless you, you learn uh, how to, uh, what is Salesforce and those steps, then you can have the certificates. Uh, and after having certificate, you can start applying for the jobs. Uh, for these certificates, uh, Salesforce uh, is uh, having uh, we can say partnership in uh, some companies and uh, they do online. Uh, mm -hmm. They have specific, uh, we can say every, every time uh, you can take it, you can register, uh, you can uh, make the payment 
then uh, when the time comes online live you enter the certification exam and uh, immediately you uh, get the response of uh, your result and uh, these uh, exams are not very difficult if you carry on uh, these kind of boot camps easily you will be able to obtain it uh, maybe mr birol can add more details he might well, be having more information yeah uh, well we are actually going to be starting on the 15th of january and uh for the uh for the new batch and uh, i actually uh, suggest everyone to sign in even uh, for a couple of weeks and the first couple of weeks is going to be free uh, so you can join in and find out what exactly uh, Salesforce is and how you, you can actually, if you can get used to, you know, uh, I, I'll be honest, you know, it's not, uh, it's not going to be easy for somebody who can't sit in front of a computer for hours and hours. This is, a, this is not a job for you if you're not going to be comfortable in front of a computer. Uh, but if you're comfortable, because the new age, this is the this is how it is now. You have you must be able to sit in front of a computer for hours. If you're able to do that, uh, join us on the 15th, uh, and uh, for like I said, a couple of weeks at least, and then uh, you'll see what uh, Salesforce is, how you can use it, uh, and there's like we mentioned before, there's a lot of uh, opportunities, especially in the United States, uh, for you to get a job. Uh, and after six, seven months, uh, you'll be able to uh, do many of the things that I showed you and many, many more. And uh, that's what I can tell you about uh, what Salesforce does and uh, how you can actually learn it. Yeah, that's a, it's a phenomenal opportunity to be able to have um, a career change, a completely new career path um, within such a short period of time. Um, I know that if you, anyone who's looking at the job market right now, if you're on any job hosting sites or um, searching sites, you're going to find a lot of Salesforce administrators, Salesforce development. Um, I know there's been a lot of impact right in the technology fields in the last maybe six months uh, as far as companies making changes. So you're seeing a lot of these positions pop up in areas that maybe they hadn't been available before. Um, so and to invest in yourself and create an opportunity to support maybe yourself, your family, advance your career so quickly and have such a diverse opportunity in different roles that you can implement that in such a short period of time. Um, anyone who wants to take advantage of those first few weeks definitely, definitely should um, get an idea of if it's something you'd like to commit into, if you feel confident that that's a career path you'd like to take. That's a wonderful opportunity to present to people and um, to have the opportunity to view what it looks like behind the scenes in the learning environment um, and see if it's a good fit for them. Um, so that's really great that WiseQuarter is offering that. As somebody's asking about the passing score about the certification, you need to score 39 out of, uh, you need to actually get 39 answers, correct, out of 60 questions. And um, just uh, so everybody knows, um, if you look even like to job, uh, job listings, you'll see that some of these uh, listings don't even require you to get a certification. You, if you know what uh, you're doing, if you have uh, you know, knowledge about Salesforce, like I did uh, a couple of years ago, I taught myself. And then I actually said, you know, I, I wanna learn this like uh, fully. I wanna learn everything I can about this. That's why I joined the bootcamp, but uh, I was able to do the task, tasks uh, that I, uh, you know, any uh, Salesforce administrator or developer can do uh, without, you know, uh, with the, you know, knowledge, uh, without the certification. Uh, but I was able to um, join the bootcamp. It added a lot of uh, information to me, and I was able to. Uh, uh, I I didn't know Salesforce was this big, you know, and, and this is actually a great um, uh, platform because there's a lot of uh, job opportunity, job path you can take. Uh, not only that, uh, you can become a developer after uh, six, seven months. Uh, you can also uh, become uh, even architect, like a business analyst. There's a lot of uh, uh, career paths you can choose. And uh, in order to go through that career path, of course, you need certifications. And certifications are uh, done through Salesforce. They actually uh, uh, will uh, let you uh, take their uh, exams and after you pass the uh, exam, you will be certified. Uh, I see that uh, Darvish Ajam uh, joined yeah. us. 
<laughs> welcome. <laughs> Join in, yeah. in the conversation. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, yeah. welcome, Mr. Darvish. How are you? Sorry for coming late. Uh, actually, I gave a break to the, my class and I do, did my best to to catch you guys. So Thank now I, I, I'm in the break. Actually, I have like about 15, 20 minutes to to have an, that nice conversation with you. <laughs> I, my students are waiting for me because, you know, teaching are always is there and we have to teach. We have to learn. There are a lot of things to learn and also teach around. So it's kind of a little busy. People are trying to learn this Salesforce in six months. And actually, when I saw our students are improving that much quickly, I'm becoming too, you know, uh, it's making me too uh, happy, actually. Yeah. So uh, just uh, Mr. Bl uh, <laughs> Birol uh, <laughs> say that they are learning like in six months, they become a Salesforce developer. That is, that is true. Like in six months, you 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 get very good career. Like you get very good job job uh, title at least. You know, you finish in university for four years, then you do master. Like me, now I am doing a PhD. And after all of this, before Salesforce, there wasn't any job title for me. I I finished a master. That's my second master actually. Then I did a PhD. I'm like close to do graduate from my PhD. And when when I had get a question from my family, especially my my father, and he says, "What are you doing?" I couldn't answer what what I'm doing. You know, <laughs> but when I met the Salesforce, now at least I have a title, Salesforce developer. And after all of this, it's been like one and a half year, uh, about two years actually, that I am a Salesforce developer. I'm working for a company in USA as a Salesforce developer on a project, especially. Uh, since I'm doing PhD, I'm not working a lot on that project, but little by little, they, they give me some task and I'm contributing the project, which is make me very happy actually. And, uh, and also I'm PhD students here in Arlington, University of Arlington. And as, as I said, I, since I am at the, like close to the graduate, that's why I'm going to the graduate from my PhD, but otherwise I don't have any plan with my PhD, but the good things, what I did. I talk to the, my professor and I bring my research area close to the Salesforce. Now that is actually very good because I do artificial intelligence on the CRM. So what kind of tools you can you know, connect to the CRM? They already have a lot of tools like in Salesforce Einstein. So we are trying to, you know, for companies to connect some artificial intelligence tools to the CRM to uh, you know, give them better data analyze, uh, analyze. So they have a lot of data, they collect a lot of data from their customer, but when it's come to do analyze this data, it's, there are very few tools. So in my research, I'm doing some things on that part, which is also now it's when I combine my job title to do my research, it's helped me a lot. So yeah, this is Salesforce and it's very nice for people to have a job title at least after all of that. So that's Absolutely. actually great, right? Uh, we have a professor working <laughs> vice quarter. And uh, so that should be very encouraging for a lot of uh, people who are joining in. Uh, they should uh, jump in and start uh, enrolling right away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's good with vice quarter also? Uh, I'm at the same time a, a mentor, uh, working as a mentor or having service as a mentor in vice quarter. Uh, mm -hmm. At the same time, I'm working as a developer, like whoever our students. So we are trying to guide them properly uh, how to prepare their certification exams, how to arrange their LinkedIn profiles, each and everything. Uh, so it is a good opportunity for the students who are uh, really attaching themselves with the wise partner. So they have uh, right people uh, yeah. for reaching their goal. Yeah, actually, you know, it is, we are living in the like uh, information area. So like uh, you can find information everywhere. If you have a computer and internet, you can get that all information you needed. But the problem is with uh, with with learning all of this information, there is a lot of information. You cannot pick what you needed. Like if in just even in Salesforce, you, you pick a Salesforce title, Salesforce developer title, and you keep searching what is Salesforce developer, 
still there's a lot of information to learn. You broaden your your you know search area to do Salesforce developer, and you're doing searching. There is a thousand of tools to learn. So with the help of Vice Quarter, so what we are doing, we bring that environment. We narrow down what they needed for for Salesforce developer, at least for senior level or junior or beginner level. Like at least for that that part, we make like uh, especially when we have a instructor meeting. I am requesting from all of our instructor to to teach like things at the same level. For example, in our interview prepare questions, uh, prepare class, like our interview prepare uh, instructor is teaching what they learned the week before, not something else. So all of these things and for our other classes, we all going at the same time together and only we narrow down the information they needed, not any kind of information, just what they needed. And we show them how to, as as my friend said, just to how to prepare for their certification exam, how to be ready for the interviews itself. Even you know a lot of information, you learn everything. But if you cannot tell the the person who who interviewed you, then it's it's for nothing. When you did not explain yourself, when you did, couldn't sell your information what you have, but you just carry that information, but it's not helping you. So as in vice quarter, we teach them all of this, how to, you know, which information they needed. We provide that information to them in, in a system, like user-friendly system mm -hmm. to teach them in six months. And that, that is very, you know, it's, it looks like very long time, but it's not. When, when you are doing a master or you're doing like you getting a degree, you give your four years two years to get in that degree. So, but in six months, you get a very good job title with very high payments and uh, you become a Salesforce developer or admin. If you, you see you, you cannot be in Salesforce developer, it looks, it's for me is like usually for our students when they start, they all graduated as a Salesforce developer, but there are a couple of friends. They said, "Okay, we at least we will try it as a Salesforce admin or business analyst, so they can go also that way." Yeah. Darvish uh, can you share some of your experience, like with uh, as far as like what kind of a uh, uh, students you you know you had to uh, teach uh, yeah. Salesforce? <laughs> and, uh, can can anybody learn uh, Salesforce? Maybe you can share. Actually, we have we have any level of students. Like there is no low level or high level we have from any level so and they all are learning at the end of course they all are almost in the same level the only things the, the people who have a little bit background or have some information on the it they study a little bit less and the people who don't have that background they have to study harder so what is happening here they all like you know, I just helped one of my students with the uh, with with his task for the interview. After the first interview, they give him a very long task, and just like three months ago, when when I teaching him Apex, he was complaining. There is a lot of things on Apex. How we will learn all of this? <laughs> then when JavaScript, he said one more language, HTML, CSS, another language. These are many things, but when I see what he did in, in, in his, his code, in his task. He just had very little problems. I just helped him to, to solve these little problems like bugs in his code. And he was able to do this long ta task. Then I asked him at the end of meeting, I said, you see just three months ago, what you were saying now, which level you are in. He was, he was saying that I, I can't believe myself what I'm doing. <laughs> he write Apex trigger, which is like, uh, a main topic in 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 uh, Salesforce. He write and trigger. Then he write and batch classes. These are very good topics. And one LWC component. So he was able to write all of this after three months. Nice, nice. That's uh, that's great. And and I have a students like they 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 cannot they they are not familiar with the with the keyboard, you know. So these these people they write more like they practice more. Uh, so that's so why anyway, probably Salesforce is very popular, right? <laughs> yeah, 
that's that's why like uh, anyone can learn but people with without background or without if they don't like being in front of the computer at all so i don't suggest them to come because for at least for six months one year until they got the job for sure they will spending like 10 hours 12 hours a day on in front of the computer if his people enjoying outside and he cannot sit down that long so don't start the course but if you are hard working and you can stand uh, sit down in front of the computer for a long time then this is for you you can do it you can learn it okay well this is the age that we are in uh, before you joined in i was saying the same thing about you know <laughs> you need to be able to uh, sit down in front of a computer and uh, but uh, this is how it's done uh, things are done nowadays because uh, you can't i mean uh, every job uh, requires some kind of a computer you know you need uh, you need actually to be able to sit in front of a computer for hours so and, right. yeah yeah i'd have to say that yes oh, yeah please 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 carry on yeah sure no uh, it's, it's sort of the beauty of the job too, though, uh, whether it be Salesforce or any technology is you do have a computer, but that means your work can be wherever you are. In most cases, the majority of companies are going remote. So if you need to be out of state, uh, out of the city, you want to travel and be different places, you have the opportunity to still take your work with you and be able to do it in different locations um, as long as you're comfortable being in front of a computer and doing that job. So um, while the structure is there and it's great uh, to learn and it is a commitment, you have to be willing to sit in front of a computer, which sounds uh, like <laughs> silly to be a difficult commitment, right? To sit in front of something, but some people like to get up and move around a lot. Um, I think the beauty of the job is being able to take it wherever you want to go. So um, I'm a remote worker myself. If I want to work here, if I want to work in another state, if I'd like to travel abroad, wherever it is, as long as you have a laptop, you can take your work with you and that flexibility is is great to have and most companies offer that these days yeah i have many friends they are doing that they they change the countries every few months <laughs> nice. myself, last last summer i was traveling a lot i done most of my job while traveling on the airports in different different city each time and it was nice you know having that opportunity this is the good thing with the IT. Most of IT jobs is like that. Like at this, you can get the very long, uh, you know, holidays from your uh, company and do the job. Even even the company required you to be in state or, you know, hybrid. So you still can, can get the very like if you need a, a month outside of state, then they will help you with that, and you can go and get your computer. Just help them from uh, from outside. Yeah, I think uh, I can give example from my life, my experience. Uh, before starting as a developer, uh, I changed two more uh, jobs. I tried two more different other than IT. First, <laughs> I was working in garden, Apple. I was collecting in the garden field. I, I went. So from morning, 6 o'clock till in the evening, 7 o'clock, almost uh, 9, 10 hours, I was running. And then just once in a week, uh, the holiday. So when I come home, I was just lying down till morning and the next day I wake up and then go. <laughs> I said, it will not possible. Uh, I cannot do this work. Then I entered in uh, one restaurant. I started as the, I didn't know anything about the, uh, I started like a, uh, we say it like a barman then. So again, from morning till four o'clock, then another, then in the evening till 12 o'clock night time, then. Then between four hours, I had afternoon break. Then I start my course in these four hours, like my morning shift and the evening shift. So 10 hours I was working as like in the restaurant, like, like, like bar, barman, yeah, same. So these four hours I was sitting online classes like this and then nighttime I studied additionally. Then uh, two jobs at the same time, then going course and then working. But after seven months, Right after finishing the course, before taking my, uh, I took the develop, uh, admin test, admin certificate. Before taking my developer uh, certificate, I found the job. Uh, then I, I left my that job. Right now I'm sitting at home from morning till evening, just from Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday free. I, uh, now I'm relaxed. <laughs> 
So this is the changes, yeah. This is the changes in our life. It's it gives, but definitely without working, without concentration, without studying, really giving effort, nothing comes. Yeah. Yeah. If you are really thinking that I will do this work, you have to sit and study and then give effort and give time. Definitely, dedication is needed. Yeah, eighty percent of our students are like they are working people, so. They learn sales force, uh, like in their nighttime, usually after their jobs. So most of like eighty percent at least are the people who are working. So these people are able to learn. So the the other people, like there are very few students. They said we we don't have time, but at least they come to the classes. They don't miss any classes. They cannot practice. So after they graduate for one two months, they do some practices and then go into the market. Especially if you're in the United States, for example, you have a morning class. I mean, the afternoon class and also a nighttime class. Uh, but the morning class is in Turkish, uh, and the nighttime class is in English. We we actually are going to be uh, delivering this in two languages, right? Yes, yes. So for uh, yeah, as you said, we have like morning classes in Turkish and uh, night classes in English. And the good things we keep all of this recording. You, you, even even you, you, you miss like the live classes. We, we like we push our students to come to the live classes because it's I think it's better environment to learn. But if you if like the time is not good for you, then you miss the classes. Then we have a system called LMS, and uh, from that system you can find every record that's it's been teached. In, in the classes, like everything in the classes with the materials and everything. This is actually the good things with the course. You can find, as I said before, any of this from anywhere, but we put all the, you know, in the systematic way to teach you. And it is in order too. Uh, I mean, if you were to look for this information, I'm sure you can find it in YouTube or any other sources, but uh, it's not in order and it's done by different people. So some some are good, some, are, some aren't so good. So uh, it can be very frustrating for students to find the correct information, the way that they can understand it. And we have a system in LMS uh, where it's structured the, in a certain order, in the order that uh, you follow it, you will be able to cover all of the things that you need to learn about Salesforce. Yeah, and I have some people, the when they search about something uh, and they, they start hating it it's because they get wrong information from wrong yes. uh, sources and they think it's it's something they cannot do it and uh, they hate that, that job or that thing. So when someone correct people teach you that in a systematic way, then you just learn it. Exactly. Excellent. Michelle, yes, are there any, uh, any questions? Yeah, just talking uh, between. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, no, I think we talking, covered we, it. We actually, uh, hijack the uh, whole. Uh, <laughs> you know, no, uh, this is great. Uh, this is great. That's I have the whole give conversation. Those students, yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you for joining us. I think you are left. Where are you? So I told them 15 minutes. It's been about 20 minutes. So I have to leave actually. If you, you you continue to do your conversation, thank you for having me. Uh, calls. <laughs> I have to leave. Thank you. Yeah, that, uh, that wasn't a hijack at all. Actually, we've covered every question that I've had um, just in conversation, which is fantastic as far as, you know, why getting into IT for the flexibility, right? For the, for the flexibility of a good income, good support system, like within your family, the flexibility of where you live and work, um, what roles you can have, whether it be developing or uh, analysts, administrator, um, all of those opportunities are available to you. Salesforce allows you to do that in, multiple environments, different fields um, that you have available. So whether it be aerospace, um, telecommunications, business, uh, manufacturing, whatever it is, any of the platforms, as long as they're using Salesforce, those opportunities and career paths are open to people now um, just by being able to use the, the CRM platform and know how to function within it. You can get into any um, organization that you're interested in at this point. Uh, particularly, I think there was a question that just came in. I saw asking how the market is now as far as Salesforce is concerned. Um, 
I don't know if either one of you have any data analytics on that right now. I know that there was a big impact in the technology field in the last six months, um, but I'm still seeing within my personal company as well as outside in the job boards, tons of Salesforce administrators, Salesforce developers, um, tons of Salesforce positions. I'm in the United States. Granted, I'm not looking internationally at this point, but everywhere within the United States I'm seeing, and even if it may not have the title of Salesforce, you're seeing business analyst, but the skill is Salesforce, right? They want you to, to analyze Salesforce or they're looking for a CRM administrator, but the administration is Salesforce. So knowing just what job titles to search for, um, you may not see the title Salesforce administrator or Salesforce developer, but that is still what they're looking for in their business analyst or in their administrators um, and developers. Um, so maybe you guys can speak a little bit to that. Maybe we haven't discussed in depth sort of what the current market looks like for, um, for Salesforce. Can I uh, share my screen real quick? Absolutely. I want to share you. Um, let me see if you can see it. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. All right, yeah, this yeah. is what Salesforce is right now, where Salesforce is right now. Uh, they're number one, and they're by far number one. They're, even if you combine all the competitors, uh, they cannot reach uh, Salesforce. So they, they have 20% of the market uh, in uh, CRM uh, applications. And uh, that's how things are right now. But things are gonna get even better. Uh, it's estimated that in 26, 2026, uh, Salesforce will grow uh, up to $50 billion. Uh, so right now it is the fastest growing um, in, in 2023. It, and uh, year over year growth is like a 21%. And, uh, they will reach uh, 50 billion dollars after uh, around 2026. So why is this important for you? I mean, Salesforce is ma making money, of course. Why does it matter to me, right? Uh, but uh, more money they make, uh, more employees they are going to be hiring, and they are going to be hiring uh, right now. Uh, it's estimated that uh, there'll be uh, nine over nine million uh, Salesforce uh, employees. Uh, Salesforce will actually uh, be uh, very uh, sought after uh, job. Uh, and if you once you become a developer, then you'll be able to get a job, uh, especially when you're at that, like around 2026, 20, you'll have three years of experience. So uh, three years of experience in sales as a Salesforce developer will get you to uh, many, uh, many job opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. And also I'd like to, I guess, point out that at this point, even if Salesforce as uh, an organization, maybe the company itself um, may not continue to drastically grow its employee uh, headcount within their company in particular at Salesforce, but that does not necessarily impact the opportunities that are available for people with Salesforce certifications. The platform is still very much growing. Um, the customers purchasing and using the CRM platform is definitely growing. Um, so the certifications are still equally as valuable, if not more valuable, and the opportunities created um, by that software are, are growing exponentially as well. So while the company itself may um, you know, not grow as quickly over a certain period of time, the, the opportunities created by that software and those certifications are still drastically increasing. Yeah, especially in Europe, right now there is really big demand and it is uh, continuously enlarging. And uh, every day, new companies starting to use uh, Salesforce. Then uh, I, I I live in Spain. Then I I really see uh, every day uh, new companies are making partnership with the Salesforce. So every company means uh, new uh, job opportunity. So then uh, even uh, they are offering some uh, employee like. They want to get Salesforce uh, developer or administrator without knowing anything. Like you just apply to some company. Right now we have some examples in uh, Holland, in, uh, in England. Uh, the company is announcing, okay, I will get the Salesforce developer. But then they are saying we will take it as an internship. Then uh, the condition is you should not have certification. You just come. We will try to teach you, like we will give you internship uh, job, six months, you will not be, you will not be paid, 
you will be, you will be given some uh, task to practice and then learn. After six months, you will be entering the job. So it is showing that there is really demand in the market. So much more those who are having certification and the experience already, they are just uh, hiring directly. Uh, so this is really a big opportunity right now for the people who are learning Salesforce in this moment. And uh, once you enter in this, uh, in this uh, field, then one year, two years later, as an experienced person, you will be really having a kind of golden uh, certificate uh, with you. That that quality will bring you uh, uh, bigger opportunities. Like uh, the age is not important. What is important? You're getting more experience. Like uh, having uh, more years in IT field, especially in the sales force getting a better job and then a higher level. So uh, it is really a good thing that you start as soon as possible. Absolutely, I agree. About the aging, uh, age actually, uh, age does not matter, especially if you're in the United States because uh, there is actually very, very uh, harsh uh, rules, uh, laws against um, ageists and uh, if you're, uh, not uh, hired because of your age, uh, the company can be um, actually uh, sued uh, for lots, lots of money. And that's why um, companies don't care if you're uh, 40 or if you're 30 or 20 or even 50. Uh, they, they, they look at your uh, experience and we, as at Wise Quarter, we will give you uh, one month of uh, internship program. And with that internship program, you'll actually be uh, working on uh, projects, real uh, real life projects, and you'll get your hands on uh, hands on uh, experience. And after six months, actually, that is going to be very beneficial for uh, for our you know students because uh, they'll be able to show that in their resume. And during the interview, which we'll prepare uh, the uh, students for, because uh, we'll be able to you know prepare them before uh, inter interviews and after interviews. Uh, we can actually uh, talk about what went wrong or what went right. Uh, and as uh, Ahmed Bey uh, was mentioning that we have interns, I mean, uh, the, uh, mentors uh, with mentorship program, uh, you'll have one-on-one -on -one conversation with your mentors so you can uh, find out what you need to improve on. And uh, so wherever, wherever you are actually in the United States, uh, or in Central Eastern Europe or Latin America or even Asia, uh, you'll be able to uh, actually get a job in Salesforce without uh, any issues. I think the, the rates are going to be different a little bit. Uh, let me show you what the rates are for throughout the world. Let me just show you real quick. Um, if you're in Eastern Europe uh, or Latin America or even Asia, uh, the rates are a little different. It varies based on uh, the location you're in, uh, but uh, these are some of the development rates by region. And, uh, you know, based on where you are, you can actually make as much as 65% uh, if you're in Eastern Europe. Uh, you can make as much as $45 in Asia uh, or even $70 in South America. And so these rates are actually really, really uh, nice for, uh, you know, compared to other job opportunities. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. Um, I didn't know uh, off the top of my head what those rates were. So thank you for sharing that and giving people some visibility of, you know, what the potential can be depending on your location, where you are. And um, that may also influence, right, a change in their organization or um, their job market, what they might be interested in doing based off of the income information. So thank you for sharing that. Um, was there, I think we covered everything, right? We, we want to cover yeah. what wise <laughs> uh, you know, uh, we will start a new batch on the 15th. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I want to mention that. And, uh, what else? Am I missing anything, Ahmed Yeah, that is, uh, now I think it is time to start, uh, learning about Salesforce and uh, searching about the wise quarter. Mm -hmm. Excellent. 
And yeah, we'll, we'll actually um, be giving away two weeks of free Salesforce course. Yes. So I welcome everyone, everyone to uh, join in uh, the live sessions, live classes uh, for at least two weeks. And then, um, uh, you know, just go to wisequarter.com and, and start enrolling. So. Well, I appreciate you all for taking the time to talk today. I learned so much. Um, I hope everyone else did too. I think we covered every topic uh, as far all the way from why to enroll, uh, when to enroll, what you can expect when you're in the course and what you can expect once you've completed your course in order to move into the job market um, and be successful with some hands-on experience before you do that. Um, so I appreciate you, uh, you all, all three of you for taking the time to talk with us today. And I'm thankful for the knowledge that you've given us. Is there uh, anything that you guys might like to cover? All my questions have been answered from a uh, from an outsider's perspective. Is there any last <laughs> comments or, or that you might like to make before we wrap up? Uh, well, uh, thank you for having us, uh, Michelle. And we uh, we would like to actually uh, thank you all of you. Uh, thank all of you uh, for joining in and uh, listening to us. And hopefully we'll see them in uh, on January 15th, like I said, and um, just uh, start enrolling. You know, this is a great opportunity for everyone. And uh, as I said before, uh, don't say in a couple of years from now, don't say that I wish, you know, I wish I did this, I wish I did that. Uh, take your, you know, take the action, uh, get into the IT field and there's no better opportunity to get inside, get into the IT field. Uh, other than uh, Salesforce. So Salesforce is the best uh, way to get inside the IT field. Yeah, they will not be regretting. And uh, sure, uh, what they will invest, what they will sacrifice, they will be uh, taking it back. Uh, definitely. The reward is there. Thank you so much for having us, Michelle. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you all. There's no better time than now. So uh let's let's get going i appreciate you all thank you have a good night good night hey